The property just has so much dark history and energy around it that you can feel it without even knowing the story. We decided to head downstairs and venture into the cornfield. That was kind of a mixed deal because the bodies were found there. This place gives me bad vibes already. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah. It's like your heart starts pounding. It's like a rush of anxiety. Oh my god. I'm here with us right now. That smell came back to you. So we heard about this place that was out in the middle, pretty much of nowhere. It was like kind of an old barn house that was sitting on a cornfield. From what the owners told us, the old family was actually murdered within their home. This house was super interesting to us from the very beginning. Family was essentially murdered there, and the actual details of it are a little bit too graphic for YouTube. Let's just say the story is very interesting, extremely graphic, and made us believe that there was a high likelihood that there could be some activity there. The type of event that happened at this place is so obscure and so rare to even hear about. It's astonishing that we would get contacted about this particular haunt. The bodies were found in their own cornfield, so this is kind of one of those topics that are a little bit strange to touch on. It was a bad scene, let's just put it like that. Spiders. I'm gonna keep it moving. Look at that. Look at the overgrowth right here on this fucking chimney. This place is giving me bad vibes already. So, from what the new owners told us, they've been experiencing a lot of strange movement sounds throughout the night in the house. They've seen things move, but I wasn't expecting to walk in the door and see what we saw the second that we touched down at this location. All right, so they said that we'd be able to get in the back. This looks way different than I had. Yeah, it does. This corn feels really creepy. Hello? Yo, what the f Look up there on the left. What? Look what those are doing. What the f dude? Yo, hey, that sh is moving all over the Place. There's multiple cabinet doors moving. The drawers were twitching on either side of it. The doors were moving, and that's just something you don't expect when you first walk into a brand new place. Look up there on the left. What? Look what those are. What the f dude? Yo, that sh is moving all over the fing place. How the f instantly? Did these like open? When we saw the doors moving, we wanted to find some explanation for it. So we looked above, below, behind, and we saw nothing that would cause that. We even tried to open and close the door. We just came through a couple times to see if that would make anything move, and sure enough, it didn't. Open it. Open it. Nothing. Nothing. Huh. And there's literally like three or four cabinets moving. It looked like maybe one of the lower cabinets was moving, and as we approached it, they continued moving in front of us. And the, and the crazy thing is, we try to debunk this stuff when we're on an investigation, and we know that our viewers try to debunk shit because this just, it's part of the fun. You know, you guys see this stuff on camera, you're not there in person, I'd do the same thing if I saw a video. But we're walking up to these doors, these cabinet doors, and they're moving back and forth. There is nothing attached to them. 
uh, we investigated it, we opened and closed them, they stopped. And it's just mind blowing. That's not something you expect to see when you walk into a location. What the fuck, dude? Yo, that shit is moving all over the fucking place. I don't know. It's gonna be on Casey's camera. I have all that on my camera, dude. Every fucking cabinet in this kitchen was just going nuts. That's insane. You hear that? Dude, every fucking cabinet in this kitchen was just going nuts. That's insane. You hear that? That's insane. You hear that? That's insane. You hear that? Yeah, I did, dude. Whoa. You fucking see that? Hello? Hello? Let me see the EMF detector. I got the lot of this. What the f man? I mean they must want us to go up. What did it say? As we were heading upstairs, I started using the EMF detector. Tanner had the ovulus right behind me, and the ovulus was going nuts. It was just saying word after word after word. A lot of them didn't make much sense. There was just a lot of stuff coming through, but that only happens when we're in an area that has high amounts of activity and energy coming through. So something is in this place that's making this device get that many readings. Well, it's getting a lot of readings. I mean, something boring and found. It's, we're not getting anything clear. There's a lot of chatter. Was that you in the kitchen? Who's here with us right now? What is this? Some type of separate beds makes for a happy marriage room? Ah, uh, shit. Whoa, hey. What's up? The switch for us right here. Yeah, well, there's nobody up here. I mean, I recorded. You from saw the, it go. Yeah, on. I, turn, I saw it turn on and I literally recorded the whole walk. Oh. Was that you that turned on? Hello? What's this thing right here? A door in the middle of the wall? What is this? What is that? Hello? It's like a fucking hidden door and a fucking hidden door. Oh, oh my god. god. What was that? Hello? Oh. It's like a fucking hidden door and a fucking hidden door. I've been behind Casey when he's pushed. I've caught him falling downstairs and I don't know how to explain. It almost felt like I was in his shoes when that bang came through the door because we both had the same reaction at the same time. He almost jumped back into me. It's like a fucking hidden door and a fucking hidden door. Oh my God. What was that? It's like a fucking hidden door and a fucking hidden door. Oh my god! What was that? Hello? It sounded like something slammed the door from the other side, and it made me very hesitant to open the door and actually see what was in that trap door in the closet. Hello? Dude, my fucking heart is pounding. Yeah, mine too, dude. Pounds? 
angle guy. Oh man. Hello? Just move the mic real quick. I'm opening the door. Is anybody in here? Hello? Hello? What the fuck, dude? You smell that, right? Yeah. It smells like that rotten smell, dude. Ooh. It's, yeah, it's like that fucking nasty dead smell, dude. There was a really foul smell. It smelled like a dead body. It smelled like something rotten. And we've encountered that before in locations. That's usually not a good sign. That's not something that you want to smell when you're investigating some type of paranormal energy. That's usually an indication of something that's bad. This might be a, uh, this might be a good spot too. Ouija? Yeah. I knew it. Or anything, but I mean, we gotta do tests up here. It's fucking smells weird, bro. Oh, that's horrible, honestly. Let's go see the dog in the kitchen. Cause we didn't even really run it down. I'm gonna leave that there. All right, so you wanna leave this open? Is there getting whips? Very small ones, but yeah. Whoever made that noise, can you reach out and touch that? I mean, we already opened it at this point, so if there was something in there, yeah. I don't think it matters. Just let's leave it open. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think we should get some static cameras out now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like ASAP. I'll set set to the middle of You want to leave this running in here? Yeah. I know we talked about this having a auxiliary plug. Yes. Yeah. We can hook it up to a speaker. Yeah. We'll hook it up to a speaker and let that thing run the whole time we're here. So if it says anything, we'll hear it anywhere in the house. All right. Oh, dude. I'm fucking my heart's still running from that slam just now upstairs. Oh, yeah, bro. I was right behind you. It's not comfortable doing a Ouija board session in a location like that because you know something really bad happened here and you know the foul smell is kind of like an indication of probably danger, but we decided to go up and run our tests anyway. Let's do it. One, two, three, do you want us here? When we came up here in the attic, there was a really foul smell. Is this the family that lived here previously? And after asking a few questions, the silence was interrupted by the ovulus, which was downstairs. And it said something that kind of caught me off guard. Is whatever made that noise up here with us right now? Hear that? Yeah, the obvious. What did it say? I, I think it said arrived, didn't it? Is whatever made that noise up here with us right now? Hear that? Yeah. Did you hear arrived? I just heard it go off. It sounded like it said arrived. Arrived. Yeah. That's weird. Is there something that just arrived when we started using the board or have you been here is
Is whatever made that noise here with us? Are you the one that was moving the cabinets downstairs when we walked in? Were you closer? Oh shit. Are you getting this? All of a sudden I felt the planchette slowly start to vibrate a little and it just started gliding. And that's how it is sometimes. It's like we've done that so many times where we sit there and get nothing on it. And when you feel that little bit of movement, it's like your heart starts pounding. You get a little bit nervous. It's like a rush of anxiety. Mm -hmm. That was a B. That was a B, yeah. It's just moving quick. It's this anxious feeling that I'm just sitting there saying, oh no, oh no, oh no, here it comes in my head for them. And I'm just, I'm even just being in the room is uncomfortable. Oh shit, we got movement. Oh. B O. Dude, the fuck? Oh, cruising the obvious, dude. B O. Dude, the fuck? Oh, cruising the obvious, dude. Shit said black wings. D. Is it? I don't know. There's a lot of shit going on right now. Stop and just write a D. We don't always get something on the board. We actually typically don't. So to feel that sudden movement and you know that the planchette's about to take off across the board, it's very intense feeling. No, it's moving still. It like move short. So is it B O D? Body. Body. Yep. And it stopped. Having to go from letter to letter and eventually spelling the word body was concerning. We don't know what that means. We don't know the message that they're trying to tell us. So I don't know. Overall, it was just, it was a really trippy experience. You heard it say black wings downstairs. Oh, I heard it go off. I can't believe you can hear what it's saying though. Yeah. It's I heard it say scared because it's obvious, you know? I heard black wings or something. And this just said body. Ooh. What? Uh, yeah. I'm pretty uncomfortable at the moment. That smell came back to you. All right, um, we got to keep asking. Body, what does that mean? Is your body still here somewhere? At the time, I think we were all so excited that it was moving and we didn't want to just stop. You know, we just opened up communication. We were getting movement. So we continued asking questions, asking questions. Whose body? So I started noticing something weird with Casey because I, you'll notice in the camera when I focus on him in the dark, like I'm just trying to get a better view of him. Cause with, even with my naked eye from where I was sitting, I could see him like glistening, but I couldn't really see what was going on with his face until I looked through the viewfinder and I realized how pale and his eyes were going different directions at times. Dizzy. I just saw Perfect. like all of the, you're extremely, I mean, maybe not in the camera, but to me, you look really pale and clammy. And it feels hotter up here. I started having a really weird feeling in my chest and even in my head. I started feeling like dizzy and fatigued. That's the only way to describe it. Felt like I just got back from like a two mile run. I was out of breath and I felt like I was about to pass out. Let's just, let's end it. Okay. Yeah, I'm with that. Let's end water it. Yeah. I water. feel a little weird. You did? Yeah. Good. Goodbye. Good. 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 Casey just didn't look good. He looked unwell, just sick. I just felt like immediately tired. Yeah. Yeah. I just so literally saw your eyes like roll and like your face change. Even now it's hard for me to like breathe. I want to get out of here for a minute. Let's go. After I caught my breath for a few minutes, we decided that the board spelled out body. And the only thing that we could think at the time was maybe whatever it was, was telling us investigate where the bodies were found. We decided to head downstairs and venture into the cornfield, which that was kind of a mixed deal because the bodies were found there. So obviously it's a place that we expect activity, but also there's large spiders, millipedes, centipedes, stuff you just don't want touching you. So 
it was it was a mixture of things. I was anxious for multiple reasons. I'm down with going about a, maybe 50 to 100 feet in, and that's yeah, that's good for me. Just to see if there's any kind of spikes out here, but this feels like a dumb idea. Well, who's first? Is this where you wanted us, so that we could die by spiders? Alright. No time like the present, boys. Just be careful. And as we went into these corn stalks, it seemed like the deeper we got into that cornfield, the thicker that the crops got. It's like you couldn't walk an inch without having leaves all over your face and pushing stuff apart and getting in there. Hey, wait, wait, wait. What the fuck was that? So pay really close attention. In the cornfield, we were hoping to get big EMF spikes, something direct and concrete, showing that there was something present there. I heard something in here. It's like a fucking branch break. Walking through the field was extremely unnerving. We are seeing just constantly every other row or like right in front of our faces last second, a, a web this big that's ready to wrap itself around with a spider the size of the palm of my hand in the middle of it. And I'm trying to do all of this while looking through the camera and also using the light of the camera to guide us. We're not getting anything out here, and I literally feel like there's shit crawling all over me. According to them, this is right around where the bodies were. While we were out there, we, we asked a bunch of questions, had the EMF detector with us, wasn't getting much, and we decided, this is fucking stupid. We're standing in the middle of a fucking cornfield covered in spiders yeah. with no readings. Where the bodies were dumped. Where, where the bodies were dumped, but there's just no readings happening, so. I vote we just head Get back. Get the hell out. Yeah. You know, we got shit going on in the house already the Ouija board. There's bugs everywhere. We're surrounded in leaves. Let's go back to the house. See how the night goes? Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, let's get the hell out of here then. All right, so. great. We went back to the house and we started setting up tests and honestly we weren't getting the type of evidence, the type of contact that we were hoping for at all. So we decided we would go another route and we set up all of our static cameras before we went to bed. I was actually sleeping surprisingly sound based on the events that we had experienced earlier in the night until I wasn't.
seeing what Tanner goes through on camera sometimes is just, I mean, it's like watching anything scary. Like you're sitting there with this feeling in your stomach, like how did this actually happen to this person? And oftentimes it's in the room right adjacent to me. What I saw on the static camera footage is some of the most definitive evidence you can hope for in a place like this. While I was sleeping, I felt like the bed move underneath me, almost like someone was like trying to flip me out of bed. And it startled me, obviously, and I ran out the room. And looking back at the footage, you could see that the door from the trap door where we heard the boom earlier actually opened right before all that shit went down. I was awoken by Tanner. Tanner came running into the room saying that some shit was happening in his room. A lot was in that shot. I mean, the door connecting to the attic where the smell was coming from opened on its own. It looked like something was messing with his blanket a little bit. Kind of woke him up, but looked like he kind of slept through that. And then it came back another time, basically, in my opinion, saying, what are you doing in my house? What are you doing in my bed? It was almost like, get the fuck out. The place has this negative energy that's just so overwhelming. It's something you can't escape even in your own private little moment or even going outside or taking a breath of air. I think this house is very obviously haunted. This isn't one of the ones where you have to contemplate or look at individual pieces of evidence. I think overwhelmingly, yes, this is a very haunted place. It's like the property just has so much dark history and energy around it that you can feel it without even knowing the story. It's haunted in a way that it's hard to tell by what or where this entity might have come from, but it definitely didn't seem like any of the family that may have died there. It seemed like something of a more sinister nature, something that didn't want us there. And that's always weird because you expect to come across what's left behind of the person that lived there, not something completely foreign. So I don't know what's going on with that place, but definitely had a bad vibe most of the night.